a striker. Look, Real Madrid is exponentially better and a completely different uh, side. But to tonight, on that occasion, the only Juventus shirts in the Cotton Bowl were the ones on the field. There weren't any at any reason. Not only domestically, of course, in La Liga. Where else? So, yeah, very much a, a Barcelona-heavy crowd on that night in Dallas. And very much this evening a, a very Real Madrid-heevy crowd here today. Leonardo Benucci, the skipper now for Juventus, Giorgio Chiellini has, of course, moved on to actually playing in this city now with LAFC, his teammates, went to subtitle the Paris. And, and that's no surprise, you said they're one week further ahead, aren't they, than Juventus. Juventus still have a in Bremer. They paid an awful lot of money, nearly, nearly $50 million for Bremer from Torino. We know Torino's very au fait with Serie A. Managing. Real Madrid to an historic double. Well, what a massive fall from grace from Everton to Real Madrid. <laughs> and La Left to right, Luka Modric, 36 years young and still going strong. He gets us on the way, Real Madrid, the European champions in the final match of the summer tour and immediately a ball in behind Valverde. Two inside, yeah, yeah, Benzema! A goal inside the first 15 seconds, but the flag has gone up. What a start that would have been. Well, Keith, absolutely remarkable. 20,000 fans still aren't inside this stadium. It's a great early ball, but it certainly looks offside. But Benzema doing what Benzema does best. They could not got used to saying the Winter World Cup. Please don't ever get used to it. <laughs> Whipped in Courtois, who was well, there today. He's been really lively so far, and he's got a free kick here. Look at he goes across, and he's pleading his innocence. But it didn't look like there was contact. Well, there was certainly a little bit of contact, but also it's not the sort of challenge you want to see in pre-season. Valverde, obviously, with some nice tight control. Then you see that challenge. It's a poor challenge from Locatelli and Luck. It's been a shame, that's in it. On this sort of pre-season tour, this pre-season tour, we haven't seen him. Playing that ball for Sandro, gets in behind. Sandro gets his cross in, flicked towards the far post. Vlavic, and that one just behind where it wasn't a foul. Yes, it was. Free kick in a really good position. Good run from Dusan Vlavic. Only who's been fouled, and again, it's another one of those sliding challenges because he's slightly out of position here. Casemiro, absolutely nowhere near the man, or nowhere near the ball, rather, very near to the man, just lifts that right. Let's see if Bonucci's pulled rank here. Let's go for goal, and it's off the woodwork. Certainly not very often that a centre half can call off the forward player. If this is another couple of yards out, this may just dip down and hit the target. This one just grazes the top of the bar from Bonucci. A high press continues here. That's much better again from Juventus. And this one might just has a bit of space up against Bonucci. Benzema on the overland. Benicia's gonna go alone. But what a run from Benzema to open up that space. Poor pass, you have to covet the ball, you have to want to possess it. And this one from Benzema, just overlapping Vinicius Jr. Just Many people's favourite for the Ballon d'Or, Karim Benzema! Couldn't have hit it any better. Keeper guessed right. But it was with such precision from Benzema that he was not going to get there. And Real Madrid have the opening goal of the Rose Bowl. Well, the best player on show tonight. And this is how to take a penalty, Keith. The goalkeeper can guess the right way if he wants. Gets nowhere near it. No era último hombre porque estaba buscando mover su posición para seguir a Vini, Gleison Bremer. No hay VAR en el Soccer Champions Tour. 
pero me parece que todos unificamos criterios en cuanto al contacto de Danilo sobre Vinicius José Baixao de Oliveira Jr. Ahora la cita en la cumbre no está Bonsi y Stoma Chesney, quien quedó fuera por un problema físico. Matías Perín contra Benzema. Sí, aquí estamos viendo la repetición del, del este, el penal que comete Danilo sobre Vinicius, pero qué bien lo cobra Ka, eh, Karim Benzema, ¿no? O sea, con decisión, con mucha potencia, imposible para Perín, a pesar de que se lo adivina, pero va con la fuerza necesaria, eh, alcanza un poquito a rozar, pero bien cobrada. That one just beyond Ravel and he's pressed and he's lost it. Yes, on the sideline getting ready to come on the foot. Juve. Let's go forward here. Good movement from Real Madrid. Vasquez, nice little touch. And the ball out wide. They have plenty of time here. That might have been a foul on the edge of the penalty. Asensio timed his run to perfection and the referee rightfully plays the advantage and Real Madrid takes full advantage. I was just about willing to bemoan the referee by Corrancho, but good referee. And the lack of cohesion that we saw in the first few seconds with this newly installed bunch of Real Madrid players suddenly takes a turn for the better. A good run from Asensio.